Agencies. We are now joined by Badal Yagnik, who is the CEO at Colliers India, joining us. Uh, Mr. Yagnik, good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, for the ease of our viewers, if you can explain how does this bill, uh, how is this bill different from the SEZ bill? How is it impacting the commercial real estate business? So, thank you. Uh, first of all. Um, See, what is happening, if you look at the sector per se, the commercial real estate sector is close to about 690 odd million square feet. In this, close to about 25%, which is about 175 million square feet, is in the SEC development. Now, um, when we look at the SEC uh, and the DESH bill, primarily what uh, the developers are looking for and the occupiers are looking for is basically the denotification of the SEZ for use as a normal commercial real estate. Uh, if you look at uh, you know, uh, the SECs, the vacancy levels are close to around 19%, one night. Uh, should this, and all these SECs are located in good areas, um, so should this entrance go off, you would see the 19% vacancy come down to what normal vacancies in the single digits. So it will so, occur well for the occupiers as well as the developers. So, okay, so if this bill does does get proposed and does get, so it has already been proposed, but if it does get passed by uh, the parliament, you think that will be positive for the commercial real estate uh, sector? Absolutely. Uh, as far as uh, if this bill uh, gets introduced, uh, the way it is shaped up, uh, definitely uh, it's going to have a big boost to the commercial real estate players, uh, and especially the REIT players also, because the REIT players, uh, they hold together, the three REITs hold together just about 78 and a half million square feet. And, uh, you know, they hold up, you know, overall vacancies in these parks are better because, uh, because the uh, development is better. So close to about 12% odd vacancies are there in these um, uh, REIT players. So these will be the first ones to uh, go off the market because the, the quality of construction, the campuses, as well as the uh, locational advantage. So the DESH bill will agar well for uh, basically commercial real estate as well as for the REIT players. Okay, so that is something that, that uh, most of the REIT players and DLF spoke to us as well. They said their vacancies in SEZ area is much higher than non-SEZ and they are awaiting the DESH bill as well. Um, does it in any way, uh, you know, how, what, first of all, what is the contention? Why is it not getting passed? Because it was proposed in 2022. Is there something that you think would be a problem for it to get passed or will it be passed with some tweaks than what was earlier suggested? So it's basically a policy decision between uh, the government uh, where, uh, you know, the uh, everybody is waiting for this bill now. It's been a long time since 2022 uh, that the entire world, uh, the commercial real estate world is waiting for this. And we just need to see uh, as to how the, uh, you know, the ease of doing business would help ease of doing business in the commercial real estate. Okay, so basically, uh, is there any chance of it getting approved sooner in the parliament? I'm sure these big players would have approached, made representations, uh, because as you said, 19% of the vacancies in SEZ is held back only because of uh, this bill not getting passed. Absolutely, there's been a lot of representation from all industry bodies, as well as from um, all these REIT players, and uh, there is serious discussion going on. Hopefully, we will see uh, some development, and that's what we've been hearing, that it will be sooner than later that we will have this bill uh, tabled and passed in the parliament. Will there be any impact on pricing as vacancies come down? Where? Sorry. Will there be any impact on commercial real estate pricing? See, the pricing per se, uh, I would say the pricing per se has been... Uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, pretty much robust to the non uh, SEZ spaces. So the SEZ space and the non SEZ space does not have a price uh, differential. But certainly, uh, the CBD, the central business district vacancies in most of the markets is tight. Uh, we are hovering at about sub lower single digits in most of the markets. And these SEZs are there in all core markets. 
so we'll definitely see uh, a lot of occupiers preparing this and we'll see this 19 percent vacancies in the SC that space uh, drastically come down in the lower single digits so yes there will be space taken price appreciation uh, difficult because it's a play of the market because you also have a competing non SEZ space in the market. Yes, so I was going to come to the non SEZ space because uh, we did see some vacancies during COVID. Are we back to pre COVID levels when it comes to vacancies? Absolutely. I think so. The overall India vacancies, SEZ, non SEZ space is hovering at about 15 to 16 percent. Uh, peripheral markets have always been, uh, you know, the outlier where the uh, vacancy levels are above 20 percent. Uh, but if you see the demand, uh, the post-COVID demand has come back. Uh, 2022 was a good demand where we saw close to about 50 to 55 million square feet absorption. And now this year again, we are seeing the same momentum. So to say, yes, uh, the sentiment, the demand is back. And uh, the issue is that we don't have quality real estate available in the core markets. Oh, okay. All right. So back to 55 to 60 million square feet in terms of absorption. So that's, of course, a big number because COVID, we were seeing around 30 to 35 million square feet as well. Absolutely. But uh, thank you so much for joining us today and explaining all of the aspects of the Desh Bill and how it would impact commercial real estate and especially REITs as well. These stocks have been underperforming for multiple reasons. One's, one was the tax impact that had come by where one of the components was getting taxed. And second was this Desh Bill because it's anticipated and it hasn't come by. So that's been impacting the real estate uh, the REIT prices, REIT prices as well this time. People are just waiting for, uh, you know, the transition to the new Desh bill before they sign on, um, you know, leasing on their property. But uh, let's move on.